So now I'm ready for my zip grow racks. I'm going to go ahead and import a five foot by 10 foot rack with 25 zip grow towers. So I'm, I'm going to want this right on the edge of my growing space here. I'll go ahead and grab the corner of the rack and SketchUp lets me snap it right to this end point. Another nice thing about SketchUp is if I need to rotate something, I'll go to the Move tool and you can see a little red um, hash mark there that lets me rotate this in any direction I want. We're good for now, so I'll just hit escape and go back to, to normal. So from here, it can be as easy as copying and pasting. And if you know your keyboard shortcuts, uh, I'll just use control C and control V. And that lets me bring in another zip grow rack. I've built in reference points on this zip grow rack that are exactly nine feet and six inches from the last, uh, from the edge of the rack, which is the distance I want. So I'll look for the edge of the zip grow rack and snap it to the end point in the component. Repeat a couple times and you'll have your zip grow racks uh, in your greenhouse. So if I ever need to get into this component, uh, maybe I, I don't want the zip grow towers in place, I'll just double click and it lets me get in there and start deleting uh, parts of the zip grow rack. Now you'll notice that when I delete one of the zip grow towers, it deletes it from all the other towers. That's because this is a component and every change I make on this one will affect all the other ones. So I don't need to do that for now. But what I do need is some footers for the end of our zip grow rack. So here's my initial zip grow system. I'll bring the greenhouse in just so I can see what it looks like. I have a 20 by 36 foot greenhouse. And I would like the doorway at the other end. So I'm going to rotate. And I can just hit 180. Whoop, that, that didn't work. and I want it on the corner of my growing floor. So I'm gonna go down here so I get the exact corner of the greenhouse. Snap it into place. And the last thing I'll do is I'll bring in some workbenches. So there's my final greenhouse build. And that's pretty much all you need to know. For more advanced stuff like the irrigation, the small parts are really tough to work with. 
I've provided some PVC uh, joints and junctions, uh, but we'll get to that in the next lesson. For now, this is all you really need to know to get your Zipgrow rack up and running. Again, my name is Jason, and thanks for watching.